Hey guys, well, welcome to the, what was that intro? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another Let's Talk About video. My water's up there. Ah. Uh, so today we're talking about A Quiet Place Part 1. I'll do a part 2 in the next video. Like, it kept us waiting at the end of part 1. Yeah, I know. So, what people need to address is that young kids should not be watching this. It, it's very horrific. <laughs> well, not very, but... I'd say older kids like my age will be allowed to watch it, even though it is, well, still a PG-13, really, in America. Um, but, yeah, there are a few jump scares along the way. And if you don't know what A Quiet Place is about, it follows um, this mum and this dad, which Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, they're both married in real life as well. And they're going on to play... Reed Richards in Fantastic Four and Sue Storm in Fantastic Four, which I hope they are, and it looks like they are because it's confirmed. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I seriously didn't think that that was actually going to happen, but it did, and I'm wowed. Wow. I need to work my whistle. So, yeah. I was actually talking about is that A Quiet Place is a serious film. If you don't know what it's about, it's about monsters that hunt by the sound. Yeah, you are not allowed to even talk. There is no talking in part one whatsoever. Apart from when the waterfall, they talk. But apart from that, no talking in the film whatsoever, apart from the waterfall. But if you even make one sneeze, aliens come up and kill you like this. <laughs> Did you see the trailer for it? Uh, it would be easier to explain it if people saw the trailer. I mean, it got 96 Rotten Tomatoes on the Rotten Tomato champion score of thingy, which is really good for that kind of film. Normally, those kind of films just get, like, five. And that has to be the best sci-fi film for me. A Quiet Place is just amazing, but very, very creepy. <laughs> Like, it shows the aliens crawling right up to the screen and everything and doing that. <sighs> you know, they're quite they're very creepy. And they're the best aliens I've ever seen in cinematic history, really. I mean, War of the Worlds is a close come to. War of the Worlds is makes you hold your breath. And I'm going to have to talk about that in a separate video as well because that film's also phenomenal with Tom Cruise. Um, but A Quiet Place is just on a whole new level it had me holding my breath literally all the all 86 minutes of the film and the good thing also about a quiet place is that it isn't on forever normally films like that are on for like two hours or something and they don't need to be i think a quiet place had a, a perfect run time it was near enough 85 one hour 25 minutes um realistically they made it precise and said 87 minutes which is you know but if you just round it down it's 85 minutes and i think that's amazing for a film like that oh god but when they scream on purpose they're gone by the blink of an eye you just see this figure taking them away like that <laughs> And then loads of blood splashes on the camera, yeah. Um, it's also very bloodthirsty as well. Like when Emily Blunt um, stands on that nail in the star. That really goes through me. That really went through my mum and my grandma. Went through her. It went through her, literally. Yeah. Who her thought. <laughs> oh, God, the blood. And then when she has to have a baby in the bath. Oh, without making a noise, and there's an alien right behind her. Oh my god, that film literally had me holding my breath. Literally, it is one of the most serious sci fi films I've ever seen. And John Krasinski and Emily Blunt helped to direct the first. I don't, I'm not sure about Emily Blunt, but John Krasinski wrote the first two. Uh, yeah, John Krasinski was also the director. The dad was a little bit, uh, you know. John Krasinski is a good actor, but I prefer him in comedy. I don't think he was, like, the best. I don't, I don't think that that was his best film in A Quiet Place. But anyway, stay tuned for another... Oh, I forgot to tell you my review on Quiet Place. Quiet Place Part 1 is 4.5 out of 5 stars for me. I'll talk about A Quiet Place 2 in another video. Bye, guys.